subtraction. You have learned subtraction of numbers up to four digits in the previous class. Subtracting larger numbers is very similar to subtracting smaller numbers. Here also we begin with the ones place. Let us subtract four three seven zero five three from six four nine two seven four. As usual, we arrange the numbers in columns. Subtract the ones. Four ones minus three ones is equal to one one. So write one in the ones column. Subtract tens. Seven tens minus five tens is equal to two tens. Write two in the tens column. Subtract hundreds. Two hundreds minus zero hundreds is equal to two hundreds. Write two in the hundreds column. Subtract the thousands. Nine thousands minus seven thousands is equal to two thousands. So write two in the thousands column. Subtract ten thousands. Four ten thousands minus three ten thousands. Is equal to one ten thousand. So write one in the ten thousands column. Finally, subtract lakhs. Six lakhs minus four lakhs is equal to two lakhs. So write two in the lakhs column. Thus, the difference of six four nine two seven four. And four three seven zero five three is two one two 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 one. Let us take an example where regrouping is involved. Let us find the difference between five eight zero 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 and two six one four three eight. Do you remember to find the difference? We always subtract the smaller number from the greater one. So, as usual, arrange the numbers in columns. Subtract the ones. Zero is less than eight, so we regroup. But tens digit is also zero, so we move to the hundreds digit, which is also zero. Then we move to thousands digits, which is also zero. So we move to ten thousands digits, which is eight. Now, eight ten thousands zero thousand is equal to seven ten thousands and ten thousands. Then regroup ten thousands zero hundreds as nine thousands. Ten hundreds. Next, regroup ten hundreds zero tens as nine hundreds ten tens. Finally, regroup ten tens zero ones as nine tens ten ones. Now, starting from ones column, go on subtracting the tens, hundreds, thousands. Ten thousands and lakhs digits. Hence, the difference between five eight zero 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 and two six one four three eight is three one eight five six two. Let us now discuss some properties of addition and subtraction. When we add zero to a number. The number remains the same. For example, zero added to two five four seven and four zero three eight one give two five four seven and four zero three eight one respectively. Two numbers can be added in any order. The sum remains the same. For example, we can add seven four two five one. And four zero seven three eight in two ways, as shown, the sum remains the same. 
when we add 1 to any number, its one digit increases by 1. For example, on adding 1 to 4, 3, 7, 8, 9, 2, the ones digit becomes 3. When we add 10 to a number, then tens digit increases by 1. For example, adding 10 to 7, 4, 5, 6, 2, the tens digit becomes 7. When we add 100 to a number, the hundreds digit increases by 1. For example, on adding 100 to 8, 3, 0, 4, 7, the hundreds digit becomes 1. Similarly, when 1000 is added to a number, the thousands digit increases by 1. For example, on adding 1000 to 47306, the thousands digit becomes 8. When we subtract 0 from a number, it remains the same. For example, subtracting 0 from 708319, we get 708319. Subtracting a number from itself gives 0. For example, subtracting 27196 from 27196, we get a 0. When 1 is subtracted from a number, the 1's digit decreases by 1. For example, on subtracting 1 from 24759, the 1's digit becomes 8. When 10 is subtracted from a number, its 10's digit decreases by 1. For example, on subtracting 10 from 43842, the 10's digit becomes 3. When 100 is subtracted from a number, its hundreds digit decreases by 1. For example, on subtracting 100 from 84329, the hundreds digit becomes 2. On subtracting 1000 from a number, its thousands digit decreases by 1. For example, on subtracting 1000 from 58 298, the thousands digit becomes 7. In the previous chapter, you have learned how to estimate numbers. Let us apply that knowledge to estimate the sum and difference of numbers. Let us estimate the sum of 41372 and 28694 to the nearest thousands. The hundred digit of 41372 is 3. So it is rounded to 41000. The hundreds digit of 28694 is 6. So it is rounded to 29000. So the estimated sum is 70000 or 70,000.